this morning and welcome to the altar of prayer and I want to before we get into a scripture reading and um, a prayer I want to explain uh, the title of this uh, 6 a.m. prayer altar prayer um, I was showing Brother Greg about what I was doing and then we, we looked at it and it just shows that the, when you are obedient in doing what God says the Holy Spirit is all in and I, I was showing him the, the, the fly that was created because this is really not about show but I'm, I'm a person about presentation so he said man you have the word auto spell wrong and I was like oh man it really is because I'm thinking altar the A-L-T-A-R like coming before the altar the altar of prayer in my mind but the spelling said the altar the A-L-T-E-R of prayer and we both were sitting there and he said man you know what prayer changes <laughs> and I said thank you God that and he gave me awesome revelation that what may seem to be a mistake to you God can change that thing. See, the world pockets off of our mistakes. God turned those things around. So I want to read something that I have down. on this second day of September 
And this comes from Philippians 4, 6 through 7. It says, do not be anxious, anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the God and the peace of God, which transcends or surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Prayer changes. The altar of prayer. A definition that I find for the word altar is change to change or cause to change in character or composition typically in a comparatively small but significant way. Alter to change. Alter of prayer. Prayer changes. I have a scripture, another scripture that I want to read from. And this is coming from James 5. James 5, starting at verse 13. It says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That scripture in verse 16 it, it's, it's, it blessed me this morning. And, and the, the prayer of faith, it says, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Is there any sick among you? Let them pray. So let's pray this morning. God, you are the God of creation the God of life, the God of restoration. You have promised to restore what you have cursed in the early days and you will bring help and strength to the weak body I have inherited. I believe you, my King, and I ask you now to show forth your strength in healing to refresh my soul and remind the world of your great works. For the sake of your name, I ask you to heal infirmity so that many more will glorify your name in the day of your coming. I thank you for your great gift. I'm going to read these scriptures on help. John, 1 John 1, 2, 17, it says, The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Proverbs 3, 7 through 8, Do not be wise. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Have respect 
for the Lord and avoid evil that will bring health to your body. It will make your bones strong. Psalms 119.93 I will never forget your commandments for by them you give me life. Last scripture Proverbs 17.22 A happy heart is like good medicine but a broken spirit drains your strength. A happy heart it's like good medicine. Lord. So, Father God, we just thank you right now for this day. We thank you for this opportunity. I pray for everyone who's tuned in this morning, Lord God. I pray that your strength, I pray for help this morning, Lord God. As your word says, Lord God, we thank you for happiness and holiness, Lord God. We thank you for boldness, Lord God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just glorify you right now. We magnify you, Father God. And we thank you for the fervent prayer of the righteous man. And Father God, we thank you for redeeming us and considering us righteous through Jesus Christ. And I thank you for this opportunity of prayer. Thank you for this, this place called prayer. Thank you for the altar of prayer, Father God. Thank you. For all that prayer can do. And we believe today, Lord God, that prayer changes. Prayer changes things. And we lift you up. We magnify you today. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You all be blessed.